Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a fun little treat box for you featuring the adorable Sweet Pea stamp set from our Stampin' Up! annual catalog. Um, I'm always looking for treats that match our stamp sets and I just happened to stumble upon these edamame beans. Now, I know they're not peas, but don't they kind of look like peas to you? I don't know. Made me think of the little pea set and I, my girls, my teenagers like these. So I thought this would make a fun little healthy uh, birthday treat. All right, well, let's make our um, box first. I did order these from Amazon. Um, they come like this and I will have that linked for you on today's blog post. So make sure you hop back and check it out. All right. You're going to need two pieces of granny apple green cardstock. The first one is nine and a fourth by six and three fourths. And we are just going to score it at one and two on all four sides. Okay. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, now grab your bone folder. This box is going to have uh, double walled sides just for kind of strength and just to make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, so that's why you see so many score lines. Take your bone folder and make sure you get all of those score lines nice and burnished. Then grab your scissors and we're gonna cut out the three squares from all four sides. And we're gonna cut in right here on that score line. So take your scissors and cut in, and then cut there, and then cut this one off. Now you have to be thinking about what you're doing because believe me, I've made this kind of box many times and many times I have accidentally <laughs> cut all the squares off or cut the score line in the wrong place. So just think about what you're doing. You go straight up and then straight over, and then you wanna snip this one like that. Okay, one more to go. Now for adhesive, you can use um, any adhesive that you prefer. I like liquid glue here where I live, it's very humid. So I find liquid glue is the best option. But you can use tear and tape, Stamp and Seal Plus, um, you know, uh, and liquid glue, whatever you prefer. I was looking for my smaller scissors. I don't think I have them. So I'm gonna use my bigger ones for this. Go ahead and cut off the corners of all your tabs, okay? So just go around and you can do this as you're cutting each side if you want, but I kinda like to just go at the end and Cut them all. This is just gonna help us make sure. I, I'm really uh, guilty of cutting either on the inside or the outside of the score line, which then makes the tab uneven. See that right there, that one was cut on the outside. So if I do this, it just helps prevent any um, problems with my box not fitting together. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do actually Let's see, let me get all of my adhesive. Why it's not already ready, sitting right here, I don't know. All right, I'm just gonna take some adhesive just for the sake of the video and I, because I don't wanna have to hold it. I'm gonna put that, the, these tabs like this, okay? You wanna adhere them inside like that. Making sure that you're matching the edges to that seam right there. All right, now I'm gonna get my liquid glue and I'm gonna put liquid glue on all four of these sides like this, all right? Now I like to use my clothespins. I have kind of like a, a little plate of clothespins here. <laughs> they're, they're stuck to the bottom. This is a magnetic bowl. All right, then you fold these in and I'm just gonna start using the clothespins. The point of the clothespins is to hold it closed while that glue is drying, okay? That way you don't have to sit here and hold it while it's drying. All right, so there we go, we've got our little tray for the inside. We'll set that aside to dry. 
Your second piece is a long piece. This one is, let me look at my notes, 10 and 5 eighths by 5 and 3 eighths. And we're going to score it at 2 and 3 fourths, 3 and 7 eighths, and then flip it around and do the same thing. 2 and 3 fourths, 3 and 7 eighths. All right. Now this is the box that it's going to sit in and it's going to fold up and fold over. And I'm actually using this um, designer series paper that is on clearance on our clearance rack. It's Dandy Designs, and hopefully it will still be there um, if you want to get it. Uh, the uh, clearance rack stuff uh, will will when it's sold out, it is gone. So if you like these colors and these patterns, this is the second week I've used these in my Facebook Friday projects. It's a really good. Um, set of papers, a big 12 by 12 stack. Uh, the last piece we used had Calypso Coral on it, which was really pretty. So these are more like greens and blues. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna put a little bit of liquid glue right here in the middle. And I'm, I say a little bit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put kind of a lot. And then I'm gonna get my box I don't know if I want to take those clothespins off quite yet. And I'm going to make sure that it's centered in between those two score lines and the top and the bottom. All right. All right. So let's leave that to sit and dry and let's do our cute little peas. We're going to stamp the little pea pod, if you will, in memento black. And you can use, we have a lot of greens. Um, you can use any greens that you want. I've decided to go with Granny Apple Green because that coordinates with the paper. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take my light Granny Apple Green, make sure this is light. And I'm just gonna start coloring the whole thing. I'm gonna come back in a minute and add some shading with a dark. But right now we're just gonna give it a full coating of light. These little pigs are just the cutest little guys. They're so stinking cute. The funniest one is the grumpy, the grumpy pea. And I do have a project for that. So if you're looking for more ideas, click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog. I'll have um, five different projects in total for you. All right, now I'm gonna take my dark and I'm just gonna add in some dark where there would be kind of some overlapping where those peas would be kind of creating a shadow there. And then I'm also gonna do this part up here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back with my light and just kind of blend that out towards the outside. Just creates a little bit of dimension. All right, I am gonna use summer, uh, let's see, summer splash light for our little party hat. Again, I chose this color for to match the paper that we are using. And then I'm just gonna take light pretty and pink and add some little cheeks to them, some little rosy cheeks to make them just extra cute like that. Okay, also inside there is a um, Spotlight on Nature circle and I'm gonna stamp my uh, little single pea by himself, but we're gonna stack him. And the first one I want without the party hat. So I'm gonna take my post-it tape. I think we're gonna to have to kind of curve it around and mask off that little hat there like that. Ink it up, memento black again, and let's stamp one like that. And then we're gonna take the same stamp and line it up right on top of him. I'm gonna have to pull it down a little bit so I can see what I'm doing right on top. Okay, so they're stacked. Aren't they so cute? All right, again, we're gonna color them the same way with light, granny apple green. And then I'm gonna come back with my dark. Add a little bit of shading up here at the top like that. 
Again, take my light and kind of pull that down so that that shadow just kind of drags over his face a little bit like that. All right, again, with your summer splash light color in his little party hat. Okay, now we've got to cut this guy out. This guy we're just gonna leave like that, um, but we're gotta cut this guy out. All right, you do want your small paper snips for this. When you fussy cut, you've got to have small scissors. Um, and you're gonna just stay right on the outside of that black line. Now you see those little skinny curly cues on the pea pod. I'm just gonna cut those off. We don't need those. They're very difficult to cut. They're so skinny. So we're just gonna cut those right off. Stay on the outside of that black line. And slowly curve around. And right here, depending on if you're left-handed or right-handed, you're gonna have to get in, curl that around. It's gonna be a little bit tricky, but just go slow and just take that off. We're gonna mount it on a white piece so it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now I've got this uh, new little greetings of the season uh, label and I'm just going to stamp this kind of this foliage around the edges. Okay, and then now lastly, we are going to stamp the sentiment on a stylus shape, granny apple green stylus shape. Uh, banner and I'm going to stamp it in verse mark and it's going to say happy birthday. We'll put that right there. And you want to sprinkle that with some white embossing powder. Make sure you get all of it. Okay, grab your reverse tweezers because this is small, it'll be kind of hard to hold. And turn your heat tool on. It'll take about 10 or 15 seconds. And as soon as it hits the right temperature, you'll see it gets nice and bright. All right, grab your dimensionals and let's put this whole thing together. I'm gonna start with putting this little, this is the same pattern paper that I cut with our perennial postage dies. And we're gonna put our little cuties right there. And then we will put our, let's move them over just a bit like that. And we'll put our banner just kind of coming from inside, from behind. All right, our glue should be dry and we should be ready to finish it up. Let's get all of our clothespins off. And our edamame beans, put those in there. And then close that. And first, before we completely close it, let's put our little circle right here. And um, ribbon, I'm gonna use our Summer Splash ribbon, and I'm gonna tie it around this front part. Right down the middle. Get your bow perfect. You might have to fuss with it a bit, like I am. And then cut those ends. Fold that closed, fold that closed. And then uh, we're gonna take this and tie it on like a tag with some white baker's twine. These uh, greetings of the season dies have the holes in them uh, already for perfect tag making, easy tag making. So just run that through that hole there and tie it like that. And again, fuss with your bow. You want your bows to be pretty. And there we have it. 
Two adorable little treat boxes, perfect for your friends who are healthy and they don't want candy. Uh, this is, will be a great treat for them. All right, click the link here on YouTube. There's a free PDF on my blog and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.